Hello everyone, Leah here. In today's video, I thought I'd take you along for one of my exploration, experimentation, mixed media paintings, where I'm going to be using the technique of painting on a surface and transferring it onto the actual canvas that I want to create my art onto. So right now I am using a watercolor marker on a type of paper material that's called glassine. Basically, if you aren't aware of what it is, it's something that you use to ship and protect photographs, stamps, your artwork that you're selling or shipping and saving and, you know, sending it off. I have a whole row of it from back when I was printing off my own photographs and selling them at art fairs. So I have a lot of this stuff lying around. And when I was trying to use my watercolor marker on there, nothing was happening. I was just getting the surface wet with water and I was like, hmm, that's weird. So I just switched over to using my watercolor paints to try to create different um, peeling textures and just transferring it that way. And I really liked how I was able to create some interesting sharp lines and things like that but because it is a base layer I decided to blot out some of the excess water part of it just so that it wasn't too wet for the next layer um, where I'm going to actually be using watercolor on top of bubble wrap versus using bubble wrap to create texture and letting it dry while sitting on the paper surface and I've been really enjoying using uh, bubble wrap as a tool towards creating interesting textures in my paintings lately so if you have any left lying around from packages that you received or anything like that definitely save it and try it for later um, that's basically what I'm using right now are things that I have around the studio that I'm either not using or not enjoying so this paper right here is a watercolor paper that I've had for quite some time but I didn't enjoy painting with it because I found the colors to shift a little like it didn't it wasn't enjoyable for me to use but I've had it lying around but it's nice and textured so I thought I would see if I could transfer and what kind of like textures I would get while doing that and as you can see oh my goodness you can get some really interesting transferable texture this way and I just absolutely loved it. One of my recommendations for doing this kind of exploration is to keep a simple color palette. This way, instead of focusing on the colors that you're using, you can focus on the textures that you're creating and the methods in which you're doing it. So I'm keeping it pretty simple by using a complementary color palette, sticking to greens and pinks as I create. So what I did was just grab a bunch of different uh, materials and supplies and out of those supplies, I made sure I focused on markers, paints, crayons, you know, things that are, were within the green and pink color palette. This kind of exploration, it's all about relaxing enjoying yourself, reacquainting yourself maybe with the idea of playing with your paints and your supplies and really just like finding a harmony and a peace while doing it. That's how I've felt while doing this kind of abstract painting. It's less about the intention of what it's going to look like and more about just going with the flow. Now, <laughs> As I say that, keep in mind that yes, on the camera right now, you can see that I accidentally skipped a spot. So I turned the camera off to go check on my puppy and then I just went back into it and forgot to hit record for the second layer of bubble wrap uh, transference. So for that, I apologize. Um, but you know, when you're in the zone, you know, just go with the flow follow your instincts don't second guess anything just try what you're doing if you didn't like how one supply created texture with a surface that you're using to transfer try it again though with something else so as you can see i'm trying the the glassine again with a different colored watercolor marker 
because at first I started to think, oh, it must have been the color. That's why it didn't transfer. So I'll try it with this darker green, the earth green that I have, only um, it didn't work. This material actually had the watercolor markers drying nearly instantaneously which is so weird so what I did was I grabbed one of the sketchbooks that I have that I don't actually enjoy using for sketching because it's got such a smooth glossy surface that things take a while to dry and then I smudge it <laughs> so I went and grabbed that and I added some extra water with some spritz on it and now I'm able to transfer that color from my watercolor marker so I'm learning, I'm growing, and it's really just one of those things that's really fun to do. Now, because I have this glassine material, I'm going to try it again with ink instead of a watercolor marker. Maybe it just needs to be, you know, juicier, wetter, I don't know. There just needs to be more of the material on there because I've had no problem using it with my acrylic paints. I actually really enjoy just laying down a thick, heavy body acrylic paint on there and then rolling it on to the surface and then peeling it off because you get this interesting texture. So I wanted to continue to explore using this material and seeing what I could do with it. Something else I recommend if you're gonna do this kind of exploration is to go into it, not with an intention of creating a certain look, because this is all about exploring and Think of it more as like, remember when you were a kid and you would be in art class or you'd have like those science classes where you'd be like, today we're going to do an experiment. And it was this joyous event and so many different things happen. Go into it like that. Get your hands dirty. Get a little messy. Have fun while doing it. You know, bring back that feeling of exploring and trying and learning and seeing something new for the very first time. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, I recommend wearing gloves. It's something that I'm gonna start doing from here on out. Now that everything's had a chance to dry, let's take a look at how these textures turned out. I really like how the wet watercolor transference on top of the ink created this interesting flowing cauliflower appearance and I absolutely love the different spots and things that you can get when using the textured watercolor paper as a technique for transferring colors to get your texture as well as the bubble wrap. I actually really like using bubble wrap for adding some different layers of texture. I've been enjoying it a lot lately. There are so many different things that you can use for transferring your paints and materials on to your surfaces for creating interesting, unique textures. The whole point of doing things like this is just to explore and find what speaks to you. It also gives you an opportunity to really see how your materials interact with one another in a playful manner that's less um, clinical with doing test swatchings and things like that. Hear me out. I love swatching. I'm actually making a video about why I love color swatching and doing those kinds of things. But you also need to just experiment and play. Let yourself get loose and pick out colors that you really like, like I did here. So I picked a color palette that I love, which is a complementary color palette with pinks and greens, and just explored how the materials that I have that fit that kind of color palette work together. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Before I say goodbye, let's take a moment to take a deep breath in pulling in positivity as we do it. And when we exhale that air, let's push out any negativity that we may have been holding on to. So let's do it again and focus in on positivity and any of our affirmations or mantras we may be using for today. And releasing that negativity. Let's shake out our limbs. Alrighty. 
Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in using art as a tool towards healing and learning about different art supplies and techniques. Until next time, everyone, stay magical.